Hey everyone, in the previous video we learned how to uh, enable a single select on a slicer in Power BI so we could constrain that a user can only sli slice on one value. Here we will see how we can enable a multi select. So let's start. What I will also do is I will upload this file to uh, GitHub and leave a link to the file in video notes so you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. So let's start. So I've got this uh, dashboard here with me, which shows me the sales data by different uh, dimensions. So it's by product category, sorry, it's by product, it's by country, it's by uh, year. And let's say I want to slice this by product category. So let me just move this a bit. And I will also move this. And let me get the slicer here. So um, I'll just click on, so I've already got dim product category open. I'll just select this and drag it here. And what it does is it creates a table. So I'll just convert this to a, a slicer. So I'll just go and click on the slicer visual and it gets converted to, a, as you can see, it gets converted to a slicer. Now, what I can do is I can select multiple values. So one is I can't select multiple values unless I press the control button. As you can see, it only lets me select one value at a time. But when I select the control button, I can select multiple values. So you can see, uh, uh, as I uh, select the slicer, the values or the uh, visuals change and the data is also changing on the right hand side. So um, we'll just learn how to enable multi select so I don't have to go uh, and constantly press control button. So with the slicer selected, I go to the format tab and then I go to selection controls. And I will just turn this off, multi select with control. So I turn this off. And you can see it automatically becomes like a checkbox. So now I don't have to press uh, control. I can go and just, or I can add values or remove values and so on. So uh, yeah, I, I think it's a fairly convenient feature uh, rather than having to use and play around with the control button as well. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing um, and do like my videos. Uh, thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.